The origins of modern deterrence theory goes back to a time when the United States was coming to existence. Cesare Beccaria, an Italian philosopher and economist, wrote Essay on Crimes and Punishments in 1764, in which he postulated that laws exist to permit a unit united society, free from the threat of war and chaos. He assumed that each individual member of a society will always endeavor to take away from mass from the mass not only his own portion but also encroach on that of others. Laws were therefore necessary and a violation of the laws must result in punishment whose purpose would be to prevent others from committing the similar offense. He also argued that the punishment must be proportionate to the crime committed because if two crimes have equal punishment, then dash. Take a look at the question. Which choice completes the text? Option A. People would be equally incentivized to commit both the crimes, causing much greater harm to society. Option B. There would be nothing to deter people from committing the greater crime when the crime carried a greater advantage. Option C. The severity of the crime would decide the magnitude of the punishment. Option D. There would be no way to differentiate a criminal who has committed a greater crime from the one who has committed a smaller crime. So here we have to find out which one, which option would complete the sentence. So towards the end, you can see that he argued that punishment must be appropriate to the crime because if the two crimes have equal punishment, then dash. So the clue to solving this word, this, this blank is the word because. Right? The because clearly indicates what the blank has to be. Right? Now, with that, we could clearly know that the blank has to give you a reason for the punishment that must be in proportion to the crime exists, crime committed. Right? So, if the two crimes have equal punishment, then what would happen? It should clearly give us a reason if the two crimes will have equal punishment. So, let's see which option gives us a reason when two crimes have an equal punishment. Option A, people would be equally incentivized to commit both the crimes, causing greater harm to the society. Now again, it would be incorrect to believe that people would be equally incentivized to commit both the crimes if the punishment was the same, right? So rather they would want to commit the crime that gives them the most advantage. It's not they would clearly commit both crimes. So option A can clearly be eliminated. It's, clear, it's not giving us the reason. Uh, if two crimes have equal punishment. Moving on to option B, there would be nothing to deter people from committing greater crimes when that crime carried a greater advantage. Now B is clearly the right answer, right? Because B clearly gives a, 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 a very proper reason why the punishment for the crime must be proportionate to the crime committed. If the punishment for the crimes of varying mag magnitude, if that is same, then the criminal would actually not hesitate to commit any crime even though it's really great if it gave him obviously more benefits. So to stop criminals, it's really important that the punishment for the crimes must be in proportion to the severity of the crimes. Otherwise, criminals would take advantage of that. So option B clearly gives us the reason when two crimes have an equal punishment. So let's keep B on hold. Moving on to option C. The severity of the crime would decide the magnitude of the punishment. Now option C again doesn't give a reason why the punishment of the crime must be in proportion to the crime. So option C can be eliminated. Finally moving on to option D, there would be no way to differentiate a criminal who has committed a greater crime from one who has committed a smaller crime. Now D is again not the best option because the differentiation between the criminals we discussed. So how do we differentiate between the criminals who has committed crimes of varying degrees, degrees is clearly, clearly irrelevant to the context here. So D is eliminated. The correct answer is option B.